Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this new virtual portfolio gallery tutorial. We're going to be looking at some ambient sounds now in the foliage room. So I know we've been working in the foliage room last where we added the dynamic shadows which look really great. But now we're going to be focused on uh, focusing on actually getting those sounds in. So I've taken the step to import the sound in what's called Tree Russell 2. Um, and it's got some kind of birds tweeting and all that kind of stuff. So very summary, kind of calm sound, uh, which I think will fit quite nicely in this space. So the first thing that you need to do is simply drag your sound into the, in the room or into the space. And you're gonna lift it up. And once you've got that in there, we can actually hit play and we should be able to hear that sound. So you can see there's some birds tweeting and there's a kind of general kind of wind um, as well, wind sound going through leaves and other things like that. So right now, um, that sound would be audible no matter where you start from. So if I play here, you can see that even before I go into the room before, like just here, that's two rooms away, I can still hear that sound. But I don't want that. I want the sound to only become audible um, when I come towards the door for that for the room um, Sorry, but towards the door that leads into the foliage room. Okay, so I'm gonna just zoom out just for a second here. There's a couple of things that we're gonna to have to do. All right, so I'm gonna place that there. And then I'm gonna go down on my details panel. You wanna just take override attenuation, and then you're just gonna expand attenuation override. Now, as soon as you tick override attenuation, you'll find that in your viewport, you're gonna have this attenuation um, kind of cage I guess it, it's just an indicator of how far that sounds gonna um, bleed out this is the inner radius but if you go further out you'll find a huge one going all the way around the entire interior which is no good so we're gonna actually change the shape of it also because this room this space is square and if you're gonna have an ambient sound within a square room you know not square but you know it's it's a box shaped room then we're gonna change uh, down here uh, our attenuation shape from sphere to box. What's next is we're going to be going down and just increasing the Y axis. So this box is going to be increased on the Y axis. Just try and get it in the middle um, so that when you expand this, it just sort of sits in within the room space itself. So this is um, the space where the sound is actually going to be the loudest. So we want to make sure that this is um, fitting into the entire room. We don't want to leave it sort of very small like that. We want it to make sure it's really big. So just within the room, you can actually cut it over a slight amount as well. It's not going to matter too much um, because again, you know, there's no other rooms on this side. So it's not going to matter at all. So now I'm just going to be dragging it over to the left just to bring it into the middle. I'm going to increase uh, the X axis, which is actually going across that way. Now just keep an eye on both sides, make sure it doesn't overlap into the room too much. So that is almost there. So now we're gonna increase the Z axis, which is the height. Now we can't actually see it right now because of course it's it's a little bit bigger than the room. So um, that's kind of lining up pretty well. So just gonna increase the Z axis because you kind of want this the same height as the room as well. There's no point making it really, really big. Um, you want it to kind of fit nicely in that space like that. So that's that's going to be fine. The players, the players going to walk into the space, going to be able to hear the sound. Now the key thing here is if you zoom out again, you'll see this huge box around it. Okay, that's the fall off distance. So we're going to be reducing the fall off distance quite a bit. Okay. Now you'll notice that when I bring in the fall off, I want it to overlap the next room because that's going to bring this nice kind of blend between whatever sounds might be in that room and to the actual foliage room. So we're going to test this out. You can see how big that is just there and I'm going to play and see. So now we can't actually hear the sound anymore in the 2D room, which is two rooms before. But as I approach, just about hear it there. I mean, as I step outside, it's going to be really, really loud. Okay, so what you'd want to do is just experiment with a different attenuation type. So I'm going to go with linear. I'm going to try that one again um, because natural sound doesn't actually sound or it doesn't blend the way that I want uh, to be fair. So I'm just going to increase the fall off a little bit more, possibly, I don't know, a little bit less possibly. So let's just go in and test that. So we can start hearing the sound 
It's getting louder and louder and louder as we approach the door. And then it just comes through even louder as you walk out. Which actually sounds better, in my opinion. It's actually not bad. Okay, one thing is though that the sound's pretty loud. So what I might just do is just tone that sound down a touch. Um, but again, you won't really know how much you want to be toning down the audio of the ambient sound until you get other sounds in. Now I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to be adjusting the uh, volume, say 0.5 for now, just to keep it simple. And just one last attempt at testing this. Now one thing you'll notice is if you come out of that space and you walk back in, the audio doesn't play again. The reason for that is because you haven't got the audio set to loop, meaning you know it's going to continuously play. So if you just double click on the audio clip in your content browser, you'll find a little tick box called looping. If you just uh, tick that, hit save, now no matter how many times you walk in and out of that space, it's going to continuously uh, play that audio clip. So that's fine. It's gone now. If you go back, it's going to play it again. There we go. So that's how you get a, a basic ambient sound in there. Um, and it works pretty nicely, you know, it's going to work in the entirety of this interior. Um, and again, you can really customize the space that the sound is going to fill using that attenuation shape. Really nice. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and it's uh, been useful for you. If you have, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time.